Hey, welcome to our Life Church family, or those of you from anywhere who are joining us for a little midweek worship time. I am with Cassidy Estevez, married to Rob Estevez. Cassidy, you are over the worship at all of our Life Church locations, which would mean technically you're over Life Church at like tens of thousands of places now. It's crazy because we're worshiping from homes across the world. Which is so cool. And uh, it is cool. Uh, You're one of our lead songwriters, and we've got a song that uh, has released recently. Yeah, our song, I Won't Move, is out now wherever you buy music, so go listen to it. It's a great, great, great song. In a a time where we're facing an unusual amount of instability, what I like to do is I like to go to places in Scripture that really do bring comfort. And what I thought we'd do is talk today about a phrase from the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Uh, If you wanna know how to pray, this is what Jesus said. And I wanted just to open up with this prayer and then we can close with this prayer. And I'm gonna invite Cassie to lead us in worship. But Jesus taught us as his followers to pray this prayer. Our Father, you can pray it with me wherever you are who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. We pray this in Jesus' name, and wherever you are, you said, amen and amen.
And I just wanna acknowledge that as we're talking today, we're talking into really all sorts of different circumstances. Some of you, you're kind of inconvenienced right now and this is, uh, you're facing some challenges with your kids at home and trying to work from home. Others of you, it's much, much more severe. Uh, I know some have lost a lot of money in the stock market, some have lost income, some have lost jobs. We've got business owners that are trying to hang on. Some businesses aren't making it. No matter where you fall on the spectrum, I know that many of you right now, you've got very legitimate concerns and you're worried about the future. How long is this gonna go on? What's gonna happen to the economy? You've got relatives that may be sick. Some of you may be sick right now. We have very dear relatives and people from my office that are battling sickness right now, even in their homes that we're praying for. And so I know there are many of you that you're worried with a lot of reasons. How do we battle that as followers of Christ? And what I wanna do is I wanna talk about war on worry. How do we get through each and every day? Well, we looked earlier at the Lord's Prayer and when Jesus taught us to pray, there's a phrase in His prayer that really stood out to me and the Holy Spirit brought it to the front of my mind to the point where I researched that and I'm trying to live in this truth. Jesus taught us as His disciples to pray, give us today our daily bread. God, give us the provision that we need to get through this day, give it to us today. You're not going to give us today's bread tomorrow, you're gonna give us today's bread today, your provision. And when Jesus was teaching his disciples to pray this prayer, they would have remembered the Old Testament story uh, when the people of God were griping to God because they're saying, we remember back in the old days, we had all we could eat. Now, here we are wandering in the desert. And in Exodus chapter 16, verses two through five, the Lord said to Moses, here's what I'm gonna do. God said, I will rain down bread from heaven for you the people are to go out each day. In other words, daily, here is your assignment. Go out each day and gather enough for that day. Give us today our daily bread. In this way, I'll test to see whether they'll follow the instructions. On the sixth day, they are to prepare um, what they bring in, and that's to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Give us today our daily bread. And this is exactly what the Lord God did. He gave them their provision for the day. If they gathered too much the next day, the extra would be filled with maggots, which is really, really disgusting, makes you wanna vomit completely. But God wanted them to know very, very clearly, He would provide exactly what they needed for that day. What I hope you'll understand is this truth, that God knows what you need and He is able to meet your needs today. Jesus taught us to pray that, give us today our daily bread. Now, when we talk about trusting God for today, I, I wanna be clear, this doesn't mean that we're irresponsible about the future. There's a real difference between planning responsibly and just projecting out into the future with irrational fears about questions we have no ability to answer. What's it gonna be like in May? What's it gonna be like in June? And how are we gonna blah, 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 blah. God wants us to be wise, to consider the cost, but at the same time, while we will always be wise and will always prepare, we're not gonna project with irrational worries. We're gonna trust God's provision for today. I don't know about you all, but sometimes my faith is not in God, my faith can be in like the worst case scenario. Like it's bad and it's gonna get worse and I have to fight against that in my mind. In many ways, if we think about worry, what is worry? Someone said, worry is the sin of distrusting the promises and the power of God. What is worry? It's placing my faith in the worst case scenario rather than placing my faith in the goodness of God. The sin of distrusting the promises and the power of, of God. In other words, don't try to tackle tomorrow's problems with today's strength. God will give you what you need for today, enough strength, enough peace, enough provision. In fact, little by little, God provides for us every single day. It's a little bit like the tithe. What do we do with the tithe? We take the first 10% of what God trusts us with and we say, God, I'm giving you that it's my act of worship today. I'm gonna to trust you to meet my needs tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. I'm putting my faith in you. Give us today our daily bread. 
What do you need from God at this moment? What provision do you need from God? God, give me today my daily bread. What will God give you today? God will give you protection against today's threats. He'll give you that today. He'll give you His strength for today's weaknesses. He will give you His provision to meet today's needs. He'll give you that today. He'll give you peace for today's problems. He'll give you hope in the middle of today's despair. He'll give you light in the middle of today's darkness. He'll give you comfort in the middle middle of today's pain. Give us today our daily bread. There's an old quote someone said, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. I would say it this way, my my unknown future is in the hands of an all-knowing God. Give us today our daily bread. My prayer for you is that whatever you're facing, whatever burden you're carrying, that you would meet with the presence of God in this moment and He would give you His daily bread. Whatever you need, the peace you need, the comfort you need, the assurance of His presence that you need, the provision from heaven that you need. He will meet your needs today. Give us today our daily bread. Someone said, Cassidy, that um, worship is kind of like worry in reverse. You think about worry, it's like, oh my God, something bad's gonna happen. But worship is a declaration of faith that God, we put our trust in you no matter what we see. We, we worship you not just for what is around us, but we worship you for who you are. And I love what Psalm 68 verse 19 says, praise be to the Lord, the God of our Savior, who daily bears our burdens, who daily, praise to God, praise God that you daily bear our burdens today, at this moment. Give us today our daily bread. What I'm gonna do, Cassidy, is I'm again going to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. And then when I'm finished praying that prayer, or when we're finished praying that prayer, I'd love it if you would help us to praise God. We're gonna take worse, we're gonna take worry and we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna worship God because He's gonna give us our daily bread. So if um, wherever you are, just pray this aloud. This is the prayer Jesus taught us to pray. Focus on that one line, give us today our daily bread, and we pray it together and we worship God for His provision, His goodness, His grace, His power, His mercy, which endures. He is with us today. Our Father, who art in heaven, pray it aloud if you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done.